Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, today's video is based on uh, band energy of solids and the effect of uh, lattice constant on uh, band energy. It is uh, J main's topic. So, <clears throat> and this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And the name of the video is band energy of solids and lattice constant. So my upcoming courses on Unacademy will be on uh, uh, solid and uh, fluid mechanics and thermodynamics which are going to start in next 2-3 uh, days guys. <coughs> These are advanced level courses and uh, another batch for JE 2022 also starts on 7th January onwards. It is RM batch. <coughs> also another uh, important announcement is uh, there will be a lot of free classes also free special classes also for J mains extra topics and uh, tonight we are going to discuss polarization and optical instruments uh, at 9 30 pm so this by the way this is optical instrument part two part one is also there in the special classes so freely that lecture is available you can access it and also guys uh, try to access my theory courses uh, of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your JE preparation these courses are uh, available on plus platform all right please remember you need uh, subscription or you may take your uh, friends help also and other than that uh, for all these free courses and tests if you want uh, to unlock these courses you can use my code Nitin sir uh, whenever they will ask you some code or some uh, invite uh, code you can use this part and trust me physics will never be the same again for more information you can visit www.unacademy.com all right guys so here is the statement of this problem this problem appeared in uh, aieee 2006 and it was a slightly weird question and uh, whoever read it, it puzzled uh, with the first look. So let's discuss if the lattice constant of this semiconductor is decreased, then which of the following is uh, correct? So here it is given, uh, this diagram is given uh, conduction bandwidth, its energy is given as EC and uh, similarly for valence band, this energy gap is given as EV and uh, uh, the maximum energy level of valence band and lowest uh, energy of uh, conduction band that gap is given as EG which is forbidden energy gap. So they are asking if lattice constant is decreased what is going to happen and four options are uh, given. So guys let's discuss this uh, concept part here. It's a very important uh, concept here. And this question is directly based on application of NCRT book. There is one diagram and from there this question uh, was picked up. So let's define what exactly is uh, lattice constant. Since most of you are preparing for J, so you would have studied solid uh, state already. So lattice constant or lattice parameter are the dimensions of a unit cell in a crystal lattice normally referred as ABC in a solid state for uh, three dimensional lattices. So sometimes this will be cubic. I am taking a more general case of uh, parallel pip uh, pipette. So if lattice constant is smaller, then we can say that the average separation of the uh, atoms in crystal lattice, lattice also will also be smaller. Reason being is uh, that lattice constant, that means A, B, C are going to be smaller or you can say size of that unit cell is going to be uh, smaller. Now the smaller size, what exactly it is going to do, it will bring the molecules or you can say the atoms closer to each other. In that situation, the chances of overlapping of higher energy levels increases, which leads to formation of energy bands instead of discrete energy levels similar to isolated atom. In case of isolated atom, we have a clear cut defined uh, 1s energy orbital, 2s energy orbital and uh, 2p energy orbital like this we have a discrete and uh, clear values whereas when uh, these uh, atoms are very close to each other in that uh, situation some of these energy levels will start overlapping with each other and uh, in that situation some modification of energy is going to take place and that modification of energy uh, will not give you a single value of uh, energy level instead of that it is going to give you a range all right 
that is going to give you a range from minimum to a maximum value that's the reason we are calling them as band so which leads to formation of energy bands instead of discrete energy levels similar to isolated atom the modification of energy levels is significant for electrons present in outer shells compared to the electron in the innermost shells so suppose uh, some electron uh, is present in 1s so it will be uh, very uh, tightly bound to the nucleus and modification of its energy will be slightly difficult compared to 2p or 2s all right similarly chances of uh, modification of 3s will be more than uh, uh, others uh, energy levels 3p will be even more 3d will be even more all right so let's see here here in this diagram i have shown you uh, the energy levels of a isolated atom here so suppose if uh, electron is present in uh, some energy level e1 then it can uh, you know move around this uh, nucleus of this uh, atom in this entire space it is going to be something like this in this three dimensional space you can uh, see it corresponding to this much length in this part you will find that electron similarly corresponding to e2 energy level it is going to be present somewhere here for e3 anywhere in this zone you can find this electron by the way this is 3d space so what happens when uh, there is a crystal lattice and there are large number of uh, atoms arranged like in case of solids so you will find that there are many many uh, atoms placed next to each other this is the nucleus atom 1 atom 2 atom 3 like this so you can see E4 and above these energy levels are overlapping with each other. Overlapping means this function and this function will cross each other and they are uh, <coughs> above each other. So we can say this part energy above E4 is actually uh, overlapping with each other. This is called as conduction band and uh, any electron present in this band is called as free electron. All right. And so here uh, I can define this conduction band that it is the energy level above which overlapping of energy levels takes place. The electrons present in the conduction band are called as free electron. So valence band, valence band is uh, the energy level up to which the maximum energy level up to which electron is actually present. That is called as valence band or you can say the last uh, energy level up to which electron is present. So guys here uh, based on uh, the position of valence band and uh, this conduction and valence band we can define uh, insulators and uh, conductors. So you can see here uh, in order to conduct electricity we want more and more electrons in the conduction band. So in case of metal either this conduction band will be overlapping with the uh, valence band up to which electrons were present that means these last few electrons which are in common part of uh, valence band and conduction band they are actually free electrons all right and those electrons are in normal state uh, it is present in the conduction band so so it's a good conductor in case of metal this gap which is uh, delta eg delta eg is gap between lowest energy level of uh, uh, conduction band and uh, to uh, maximum energy level of valence band their energy difference is actually delta eg or you can say forbidden energy gap so in case of metal this is the situation either this gap is going to be very very small or uh, here you can say the conduction band and valence band are going to be overlapping with each other. In case of insulator, this gap is pretty high. You can see EG is normally greater than uh, 3 electron volt compared to here or here. In case of uh, we can say semiconductor, this gap will not be as low as uh, conductors, but it will not be as large as uh, 3 electron volt so when it is less than 3 electron volt we are going to see that in semiconductor in semiconductor easily relatively easily we can send electrons from uh, valence band to conduction band 
all right once you have electrons in the conduction band the conductor is going to uh, conduct electricity all right now let's come to the actual problem now after discussing various points so this is going to be easy so you can see interatomic distance when it is large that means the average spacing is pretty large in that case you can see a clear cut defined energy levels of p and s electrons as we are decreasing the uh, distance as we are moving towards a uh, one of the atom you will see after this point or this point you can say energy levels will start modifying because the electron which is actually the electron of uh, atom 1 but it will be, it will be in the influence of uh, uh, nucleus of atom 2 as well that's the reason so these energy levels will start modifying it is it will be something like this and another one this way and um, sorry this case is in this manner so you can see let me draw it this uh, this part is actually like this and this part is actually in this manner i hope it is clear now so due to this uh, overlapping what is happening energy levels are uh, modified now what we are going to do is if you see you keep decreasing the interatomic distance you keep decreasing that distance bring those atoms closer to each other you will find at this point they will start separating or you can say band gap formation starts the uh, band gap formation is going to take place this is called as band gap or delta eg also we can say in this uh, case all right in this case so let's uh, discuss uh, this part so it's a very obvious from here that this is the actual spacing this is actual is spacing all right so this is the average distance between the two molecules so uh, atoms so here you can see that this gap is actually delta eg this i have shown here this gap is delta eg so just uh, tell me what is going to happen in this situation when we are further reducing the size you can see that uh, this delta eg is actually increasing this delta eg is actually increasing like this yes or no so correct answer will be delta eg is going to increase and you can uh, see here what is going to happen if eg is increasing this layer will go somewhere here this level will go somewhere here like this and this level will go somewhere here so what is going to happen in this case eg increases whereas ec and ev are going to decrease i hope you have understood this uh, concept properly and uh, uh, i'll just show you that this is exactly what uh, uh, you know was given in the diagram of ncert normally people just ignore it this is the actual diagram so i'll suggest if you want to study this uh, part in uh, very much in uh, length please give a uh, you, you can just go through this entire part i think 470 or 471 is the page number of ncert part 2 12th class you can just uh, check and read it for more clarity on this concept but uh, it, it was slightly off topic or uh, normally we don't ask these kind of things unless until we have idea of this graph it's very difficult to comment on the answer for this especially in the exam type of uh, environment it will be actually difficult all right so i hope this concept is clear to you and uh, those who are my students i think they will remember something similar uh, to this energy overlapping and band formation we have already discussed in, in the recent course of semiconductor so that's it guys I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll be coming up again very soon with another video, and uh, please share this video with uh, other people. 
as much as you can uh, share in your uh, circle i'll keep bringing such type of quality content in future as well so share it like it as much as you can it will be very helpful thank you thanks for watching this video